All right here in this video I'm going to show you how to display multiple lines of text to your GUI. So we're not going to use a label this time. Instead we're going to go over to the swing controls and add a text area. So click and place that on your GUI. I've got a simple display button here. So what I'll do, I'll double click on that button and I'll create a loop inside of the display button that basically loops through the integers 0 to 20. So I'll use I and I'll start it off at 0 I'll initialize it and then the second argument is how long I'm going to run that for. So well, let's run I and loop through it until it gets to 20 and we'll increase it by one each time. So I'll include then the curly braces for the block of code and then in here I'll go over to my design and figure out what exactly did I call that text box. This is jtextarea2. So just like you would with a label, you can actually set the text on a JTEXT area as well. And here what I will do is set it to be the value of I. Now that will give you an error. It wants to have a string to set the text. So really what you can do to avoid that error is just add an empty string to it. So really it's just going to take the value of the integer through that iteration of the loop and it's going to set the text to that value. So let's see what happens when we run this. Okay, so here's my program when I click display. So this is working. Um, unfortunately, what you only see is that last value. So we looped from 0 to 20, but all I can see is the 20 here. That's one of the problems. I wanted to be able to see all of the numbers. Um, the other issue here is that this tool actually allows the user to edit it. And right now I can actually type whatever I'd like in this text box. That's not really what you want. You want to have your, you know, just like with the label, you don't want it to be editable by the user. So we're going to fix both of those problems here. First of all, what's happening as we run through this loop is we're just setting the text with the current iteration. Now, it's happening so quickly we don't see it being updated with a 1 and a 2 and so on. So what we need to do is somehow store what we've already looped through and then add the current integer. So rather than setting the JTEXT area inside of the loop, I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to paste it afterward. And what we're going to do inside is we're actually going to create a string to initialize or a string and we're going to initialize it with the empty string. So let's just call this output and right now it's empty. Now what we're going to do each time through the loop in the same way that you can add on numbers like in the example um, from this lesson where we looked at finding the sum of the numbers 1 to 100 you can do the same thing with a string. So I can take the output and add to it or make it equal to the original output plus the i that I have for this iteration. So what this will do is take whatever I had before and add the current value onto it. Now I want to format this a little bit better. So what I'd like to do is I would like to include actually a, a new line character here so that I can actually have this printed on a separate line each time. So that new line character looks like this. So now what I can do is afterward once I'm done setting up the string called output I can set the text to have whatever I'd included with the output. So as we run this, now when we click on that display button, we should see not only the value of 20, but the values from 0 all the way up to 20 as well. Now you'll see automatically in this area it creates the scroll bars for you, the scroll pane. So that's good. The other thing here is we still haven't fixed that problem with this being editable. So someone could come over here and delete a few values and that's not good. So the last thing you want to do is after your loop and basically after you've done everything within this button of code, you want to take that JTEXT area and call the set editable call. So what this will do is take a boolean argument. In this case, we want to make it false. And it'll actually make it so that the user cannot edit this text area. And you'll see once this button is clicked, it will take an effect. It actually won't happen before 
because this line is only going to be called once the button has been clicked. But they can add whatever they'd like to it beforehand. It'll all disappear once we set the output. So now that I've included that line, and I click on the display button, I can see the numbers from 0 to 20 are displayed, and I can highlight this information, however I cannot delete it. I can't type it either. So that's how to create a multi-line output text box using NetBeans, and also to how to lock that information so that the user can't edit what you've displayed to the screen.